So we already talked a little bit about what the difference between a saccade and a pursuit is, as well as a virgence and a virgin. Today we're going to talk about how someone might explain their symptom of a saccadic abnormality. And the way they often describe it is that I have a glitch in my vision when I'm trying to move my focus from one place to another. So it's a very interesting description. And what they are seeing is the thing that we are all suppressing. When you make a saccade from one target to another, that is a fast movement that realigns your fovea from one target, in this case, target A, to a second target, target B. When you go from target A to target B, you have to suppress the blur that is occurring between target A and target B. So when you look quickly between targets, what you're really seeing is a big smear of the world moving across your retina, but your cortex suppresses this. And so if you have an abnormality with the saccade, it'll be a fast movement, foveation problem, and it can be either too little or too much. So if it's too little, it doesn't get to target B, it only gets to here, and then you have to make a catch-up saccade to get to the B, the target. That is hypo metric saccade. It was too little, but sometimes it's too much, and that is a hypermetric saccade, where instead of going from A to B, you went to A, overshot to B, and then you came back to, to B. So it can look like hypometric with a catch up saccade, it could be hypermetric, or it could be you have no saccade. You can pursue, but you can't go look at my finger, look at my nose. Look at my finger, look at my nose. Okay, what if you say look to the left? My finger's over here, they can't even do it. So these saccadic abnormalities are problems with the fast system. The saccade is initiated in the contralateral frontal eye field. It travels down for horizontal saccades to the pons. At the parapontine reticular formation, and then to the cranial nerve six nucleus, it travels to the contralateral medial rectus via the medial longitudinal fasciculus to generate that saccade. And for vertical, that is in the vertical gaze center, which is in your midbrain, the rostral interstitial medial longitudinal fasciculus, initiated by, again, bilateral frontal eye field. So saccades have a cortex component that initiates it, a pontine component for horizontal, and a midbrain component for vertical, and then down the final pathway, which is from the nucleus, the interneuron, and to the infranuclear pathway. Any problem along any part of that pathway can disrupt the saccadic movement. But when it's two eye together saccadic problem, that has a very limited differential diagnosis because that is a supranuclear problem with either the generation of the saccade or the accuracy of the saccade. So hypo, hypermetric, or no saccade, these are all saccadic abnormalities. And if you do a doll's head maneuver or pursuit, their eye movements are fine. And if you do a cover on cover test, they're aligned. So it's, it's this glitch. They have a glitch in their step command. So you have a command to get the, to the target, step to keep it there, and then come back. And it comes in two flavors. One is you've got saccades that are firing, that are intruding on your vision. Those saccadic intrusions are called opsoclonus when it's multivectorial, or if it's just horizontal flutter. And then you've got some problem with the initiation, the amplitude, or the accuracy of the saccade, and they're all glitches. And the reason you don't see it is you have saccadic suppression. So removal of the saccadic suppression or an abnormality in the saccade can lead to this very weird complaint. I've got a glitch in the eye movement.